Arjun had come to the battlefield to fight for justice. He became absolutely indecisive, wrought with fear and emotions when he saw his own relatives on both the sides of the warring armies. He didn't know what to do. He was so upset and he was wrought with fear that he didn't know what to do. He was absolutely confused. And then Lord Krishna says, the power of God is with you at all time. Through the activities of mind, senses, breathing and emotions and is constantly doing all the work using you as a mere instrument. That means the decisive power is actually that power belongs to God. God endows with us so that we don't lose our perspective so that we continue to tread the path of our duty. In fact, the core message of Bhagavad Gita is that you must perform your duty fearlessly, with devotion and always earnestly without expecting the results. So, the power is still with us, but how we use it depends on our choice so our choice is very important our choice is perspective that is what arjun is made to realize that it is you who have to choose lord krishna provides all the knowledge he provides all the information re required to take a decision but at the same time he says okay, what is this you are not supposed to be so wrought with indecision and fear. While we should not be attached with the result of our actions at any time, but it depends on what we like to do and what we actually do. When the choice is so important, it is our duty to choose wisely. This is what chapter 10 of the Bhagavad Gita points out to the path of wise choice. So Arjun is made to understand, he is made to realize that as a Kshatriya it is his duty to fight and he cannot go back from his duty, he cannot shirk from his duty. Lord Krishna further tells him, I am the cause of the power of decision making, the power that gives stability of mind, the power of equanimity. Unschooled mind is like a pendulum moving from one end to another, breeding improper perspective. This is what we can gain, this is what we can gain the wisdom if we keep on reciting the chapter 10 of the Bhagavad Gita. If I repeat repeatedly, it will show how the power of the God is to be used for the proper path. It will show the method how to use the power wisely and effectively. Abhyas teaches us how to devote ourselves to our duty. Abhyas is practice with devotion, with a passion to learn. When you are not acting because of your wavered mind, because of demeaning temptation, when you are dedicating all your actions to God the Almighty, you are bound to understand clearly the call of your duty. This gives you the confidence, this gives you the security, this gives you the feeling that God is with you and therefore you have nothing to worry about. The fear of failure will fly away. You will absolutely courageously 
be able to for, perform your duty and that is what is important in life your duty your duty without attachment to the results of the duty the results will come there is no doubt about it but if you keep on thinking about the results then you will not be able to perform your duty properly you have to do that to the best of your ability and to the best of your knowledge and to the best of earnestness that you have in life after giving all the wisdom to arjun in chapter 18 lord krishna says look i have given you the entire secret knowledge and i have given you all that i thought is necessary to give you as a friend but now it is your duty to apply the knowledge to apply your mind and decide and choose what you are supposed to do stable courageous mind is bound to take to make correct decisions devotion to your duty shows the right path right path that you have to follow dedicate all your actions to the service of god and you will always be at peace it is necessary lord krishna says to understand ourselves it is necessary that we must follow the path of duty to realize the significance of our life our mission our set goals will never go out of attention in case we hold the right perspective and in case we decide to courageously follow the chosen right path will definitely dawn upon you you will know it but you should not have any doubt doubt in the mind causes fear but when you are decisive you will not harbor any kind of fear courage will embrace you and you will perform your duty to the best of your ability and to the best of your knowledge with excellent results but you don't have to think about the results results will come that's for sure because the power of god is with you because you are doing whatever you decide due to power of god and therefore the results are bound to be the best possible in the given circumstances now we today we realize decisive power is one of the most important attribute of the ceos of flourishing companies and that power is the power of god